What's up guys, I'm Lizzie, and we're back with a tip of the week. Today's tip is installing brakes on your horse so that it's a lot more safe to gallop your horse, have fun on your horse, to know that your horse will stop for you when you want to stop. It helps relax your horse and it's good for their posture and communication. Stella has gotten really good at her backup recently and I can just do it with a halter on her. So I'll show you how I have been teaching her how to back up. So when you're backing up, you want to feel your horse rock back on their hind end. A lot of horses will fall forward when you ask them to back up and that will make them top heavy and harder on their head. So really, this is a more time consuming tip but it is really helpful and I encourage you to practice it a little bit every day. Don't wear your horse out on practicing this so much. So all you want to do is pick the reins, pull back a little bit, sit back, and as soon as you feel them rock back, you relax and you let them know that they did the right thing. It's also helpful to have your horse soft on their head so you can just put a little pressure on the rein and they'll bring their head to your knee. You can do it on both sides. We know how to do that it makes backing up a lot easier so we'll try this again we'll pick up her reins pull back just a little bit sit back as soon as she moves i relax we'll do this one more time relax back i relax just like that and after a little while you can all right get your horse to do that where they collect their head they rock back and both their legs move together, front and back. Let's try it one more time. Good. Very good. So I encourage you to learn how to back up properly. Don't overdo it. Don't try to make your horse do multiple steps. If your horse is really like forward and hard to back up, you really just want to take it slow. You want to just start with getting them to rock back. Don't ask for anything more than just a rock back, rock back. And then after they have that down, you can ask for a step. After you have a step down, you can ask for two steps. So the horse knows exactly what you're asking. You're not overworking the horse. You're not frustrating them. You're not dulling them to the aid. It's your brakes. If your horse can't back up, you have no brakes. So if you want brakes on your horse, this is a really good thing to practice. So that's my tip of the week for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.